I'm just going to grab stuff on the table. There's no plan here. I'm just grabbing whatever th the first thing I see. Hi guys, it's time for the haul. Now we went to three different thrift stores and I also went to a Goodwill while we were visiting family over the holidays and the total amount that I spent on everything that I'm about to show you is about $77. So um, we did really good. I like to hit up the after Christmas sale at the flea markets and thrift stores and not the big box stores because I don't care about that stuff. I just want the the stuff from the thrift stores. And um, I know from experience because of owning an antique store, I'm wanting to get rid of the Christmas stuff because I don't want to haul it away and pack it up. So I myself in my store had a 50% off sale as well. And we were able to, to clear out some of the things that we've had and, and wanted to move on as well. So always make sure that you check out the thrift stores, the flea markets, the antique stores, because they don't want to store the stuff. They want to sell it. Even if it's 50% off, they want to sell it. So let me go ahead and show you what I got at the flea market. Um, I'll, I'm just going to grab stuff on the table. There's no plan here. I'm just grabbing whatever th the first thing I see on my table. And that is the squeaky bunny. <coughs> this is another squeaker. Now I have sold the other two squeakers that I bought um, from the previous flea market. Um, I did pay up for them. And I honestly, I probably paid too much for them because I didn't make a whole lot of money off of them. And this guy is made from Ashland Rubber Company. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera or not. And these are, again, these are very collectible. I kind of want to say, I'm not sure, but I kind of want to say he maybe was supposed to have something in his hand. I don't know, but he is in great condition. His squeaker still works fine. Um, and I paid $4 for him at the antique or at the flea market. And he uh, wasn't on sale, but I didn't care because I love him. And I'm actually keeping him. He's going to go with my Easter decor. So I got that guy. And I also, from the same flea market, picked up this little girl. And I, I want to say that I showed both of these in the video. But this little girl is from Knickerbocker. And you can hardly barely read her embossment right there. I had to actually take a loop and it was even hard to see with the loop, but she's a good one. I paid $3 for her and um, she, the ones that I had seen online didn't have the glasses and they were selling for about $25. So she was a good buy, but I'm also gonna keep her to put with my <coughs> Easter decor. And there's Brutus. Yes, we, everyone say hi to Brutus. Do you want to go outside? Let me let him outside. I also, from that same flea market, picked up this little Dutch cottage cheese container. This was $1.25. There isn't a whole lot of money to be made with this, but the reason why I picked this up is because it is from my hometown of Anderson, Indiana. And... I just got it for the nostalgia of it and I'll put something in here so I can stack some things on there but it's in really good condition they had several more of these but I just picked up the one it's a little Dutch cottage cheese container also picked up these Hallmark ornaments now again all of the Christmas at this flea market was in this booth was 65% off I want to say and I this is the era of Hallmark ornaments that I like to collect are these little keepsake ornaments in the tent or the tan box. They're from the 80s. I don't know that, yeah, 1983. So this is the Christmas puppy and the Christmas kitten. Um, and I think they're both 1983. Yeah, they're both 1983, made in Hong Kong. They were originally $3.50, which could you imagine paying $3.50 for a Hallmark ornament now? It isn't going to happen. But they are in their boxes, in their little original plastic. Here's the little puppy. So cute. His little feet. Um, these I'm going to also keep. Um, and they I just like these. They're very nostalgic to me. Um, I. I do buy a lot of Hallmark ornaments to resell 
The thing with Hallmark ornaments is that if you can buy them for super, super cheap. I like to buy them in grab bag lots at Goodwill. At my Goodwill, you can get a big bag full of things for $2.99. And if I see six or seven Hallmark ornaments in a bag, I'll grab it because I sell them for anywhere between $9 and $15 a piece. Free shipping. They do ship first class, but if I'm paying $2.99 for the entire bag, then I'm, then I'm definitely making money on those. So just be warned that Hallmark ornaments, for the most part, aren't going to bring you a lot of profit, but if you can get them in a lot and then resell them that way, then you'll do pretty well. And I'm still selling ornaments. I sold one last night, actually two last night. So they do still sell year round. So I do list them year round. This next little thing I got for a friend, and when you see it, you'll know who you are. Uh, this, this little windmill, I think it's, um, Delph. It's not marked anywhere, but it's just this little vase. And look, it was 10 cents, 10 cents. So that's a good deal. And this was at the flea market as well. So pick that up for 10 cents. Okay. Another thing that I picked up at the flea market was this little set here. Now these are made in Japan. So there, there is some age to them probably from the eighties. Um, and there's this little toothbrush cup and soap pedestal dish. Um, then the set was 99 cents, 65% off of 99 cents. So I, I had to buy them. Um, and these, I don't know the maker's mark. Like I said, they do say that they are made in Japan. I'm going to pack these away with my Christmas stuff because I may, I probably will end up keeping these. Just because I love Santas, you know that I love Santas. So these would look really cute in the bathroom. So pick those up for a great, great price. All right. The next item I got at the flea market was this tree topper and it does work. I did plug it in and you can see here that it has red lights and green lights and it has the little flasher bulb so it does flash. The only thing that it doesn't have is the little stand that, that, that you put it on your tree with but I have lots of those. So you don't always have to put these on your trees. You can put them in your decor and just on just add a little bit of light to a display and i paid dollar 99 65 percent off for this guy and it looks so pretty lit up so that i'm also keeping a lot of this stuff you'll you'll see i'm gonna say i'm keeping it because i'm keeping it because i like it now let me let brutus in for this next item um actually my husband found and he said yeah, you should get that and i said okay i will um is this little santa planter um, you can see he doesn't have a grumpy face. He kind of has a happy face and it was a dollar 99, 65% off. So we picked this up as well. Don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. Probably will just pack it away with the Christmas stuff and I'll take it to the shop and sell it at the shop this time next year. So got that. Another item that I got, my father-in-law actually, um, found these for me. It is the, these are called the happy cow sets we've got the creamer and the sugar and the sugar it, it came with the spoon i don't think that this is the original spoon i think it was a plastic spoon that came with these but there are no there's no damage to these at all they are not marked but i want to say they're probably left in i don't think they're left i think they're probably inesco or napco wear but they're called the happy cow and you can see they've got the little She's got her little bow on her head still, as well as this one. Um, there, there's crazing on here, but like I call it the good crazing. It just shows age. Can you see that crazing there? Um, and, but these are in remarkably great condition. They are marked Japan on the foot, but you can barely read it anymore. Um, I paid for the five piece set. I paid $4.98 for the entire set. And I haven't showed you the whole set. Here's the other two. It is the little cow salt and pepper shakers that go with it. Again, they're in great condition. Um, these sell, and I have sold these before, 
for about $25 for the complete set with no damage. So, you know, paying about $5 for them and turning them into $25 is a good, is a good investment for the, for me. These I am going to take to the shop and try to sell in the shop and um, see how they do there. And again, as with anything, if I say I'm gonna take it to the shop and it's something that you would like to purchase, you can send me an email. My email is in the description. Um, and you know, I do ship out things. So if you see something that you are interested in, let me know. All right, the next item that I got at the flea market is this little recipe box. I liked the graphic that's on it. I like these wooden boxes. It was $3. And it has all of the, a lot of these handwritten recipe cards on the inside. So I like just to look through these and I did. Um, there were, I don't think there were any recipes that I'm going to try myself, but it does come with all of the little inserts there. Um, I need to look this up because I have a set, a salt and pepper shaker set that's very reminiscent of this bowl here in the middle. And I might try to lot it together. I don't know, we'll see. Cause I've not sold the salt and pepper shakers but maybe if i sold them with this it might upsell it a little bit but super cute probably made in japan there is no markings on it anywhere but three dollars for this was a good deal for me all right the next item that i got was this is a hallmark illuminations ornament I have this, a set of these and I love these. I don't know if I have this one. I need to go and double check, but it you hook this up to a power box and the power box, when you bought this, you had to buy it separately, which was kind of a, well, it was kind of a brilliant thing for Hallmark to do, but it's kind of a pain in the butt because you have to buy the power box, which is no fun. It's just a power box. But all of these ornaments hook into the power box and they light up. It's very soft white lights and they have a little bit of motion. Um, I think the windows in this one light up and then there's stars on the back. They don't make these anymore. So I do really, really like these for my tree. So when I find them, I buy them. This one was $1.79 and I believe that this booth had it 50% off. So got that. Another thing we got is this was a I don't know if some of you may remember but do y'all remember Billy Bob from Showbiz Pizza because I do this was my childhood in the 80s it's actually dated 1986 it's dated 1986 Showbiz Pizza so this was something that you could it was like an arcade you could play games and you win tickets and then you could trade them in for prizes and so this was one of the prizes that you could you could trade you could trade your tickets in for it now this probably cost thousands of dollars because you had to get thousands of tickets to get this thing I'm trying to see it's made in korea on the bottom but my husband actually found this so and i don't know what i'm going to do with this i'm probably going to sell it but this is very reminiscent of my childhood billy ball from showbiz pizza all right, another item that we found at the flea market is this really pretty. This is called Manicoli or Manicoli. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong like I always do. And look, I wrote it down because I, I couldn't, didn't know what it was. So it's Manicoli, I think. But it's this really pretty uh, coffee cup and saucer with this really, it's red with a Christmas tree. And then we have the mug here. No flaws on this. The weird thing is, is I was at another thrift store before we went to this one and um, saw a huge platter. And I thought, oh, that's so pretty. But it had a big chip, chip on the lip of it, so I didn't buy it. But you, you can see here, it's made in Italy. The cup is also marked made in Italy. I bought this and what was the other thing? This and this and this they had a table that was set up in there and everything on there was three for a dollar so this was part of that three for a dollar so i got that and this little ceramic what is that called like a glaze uh 
fire, it's a fired glaze with these little specks, like a little trinket dish, Christmas tree. Um, so this was part of that three for a dollar. And then this Santa Claus tin was part of that three for a dollar. Um, and as well as I got two bundles from the three for a dollar. So I got that and that. Another part for the three for a dollar was, this is really cool. This little kitten dish. You can see it has a little kitten on the inside. It is made in Japan. This was also on the three for a dollar table. And I love this this little kitten dish this I am going to sell um, and then so that and then this little crocheted snowman and I like his little rickrack hat he's a little ornament and his little gold embellishment on his hat his little snowflake eyes it's kind of kind of neat and then this guy the vintage pipe cleaners isn't he fun i actually have another one of these i never had thought in a million years i'd find another one but here he is it's just a little pipe cleaner santa made from a styrofoam ball head so those were three for those both of those things were from the three for a dollar table amazing um all right and i also got this cutting board i like cutting boards i like to use them as a base for a centerpiece um, but this one has a really neat saying on it sometimes if you find them and they, they're ugly you can just flip you know flip them over and use them as a centerpiece or as a backsplash on your stove or your countertops um, this one is made by nevco it's dated 1959 but it has this really neat sailboat um, motif on it and it says oh lord thy sea is so great and my boat is so frail. So I just thought that was kind of a neat saying on it. And it was 99 cents. So I do like that. This one probably, normally I would put this in the antique shop, but I might try to sell this online and see, cause I have some cutting boards already that really aren't selling for me in the shop. So I might try this one online and see if that would be a better market for it to sell on. All right, another thing from the flea market that I picked up. Now these are not old and I knew that when I was buying them, but I like them because I am starting a Thanksgiving collection of turkeys and platters and that kind of thing. But these are from the Publix supermarket, you know, and there isn't a public supermarket in my area. Uh, so I don't know where these came from, but they were at the flea market and they were $4 for the set and they were 65% off. So. I picked them up to go with my Thanksgiving. They're not old, but they look it, don't you think? It ha they had the napkin holder too, but I didn't get it. Now the napkin holder was probably worth millions of dollars now, because I think that they do these every year, but I just didn't like the napkin holder. I just wanted the salt and pepper shakers. So that's why I just got the salt and pepper shakers. All right, this next thing, I think I showed this in the video as well. It's just this little plastic nativity set I love the packaging on it. And it is inside. I actually haven't even taken this out to look at it. I just knew I wanted it. It does have a little, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. I think it has a little part that's broken off right there in the middle. Do you see that? But I love these. They're just a nice little thing. And this is like what I like to call a twofer because you can display this and then you can also just display the box because the box is pretty neat. Put that back in there. And this was 69 cents, but it was 65% off. Okay, this isn't the greatest thing in the world. It's not the most exciting thing in the world to show you, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. We are getting ready to paint our cabinets in our kitchen and we needed some hardware and hardware is expensive. So we got a whole box full of hardware for $22. Just this hardware to go on our cabinets to replace the ugly ones that are there. So that was a good deal at the flea market. A whole box full of hardware for $22. The next thing that I got was this bag of goodies for $1.59, 65% off. And they're napkin rings, and these are great. So let me pull these out. There is 
a matching set here, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And the napkins go through here. And these were made by Reed, made in Taiwan. So those are fun. So you could use these as napkin holders or just set them up on a shelf. So there's that set. This set of napkin rings, and they're just Santa heads. The napkins go in there. There's no maker's mark on them. They're not as old, but they're still neat to use as napkin rings. Just two of them. These are really fun. I like these. Let me fix his hat. And there's two of these. Now these to me look like that they were made in Japan. They just have that look about them. Let me fix his beard before he makes his camera debut. His hat's kind of hanging down a little bit, but look at these. Oh, let's get you right side up, Santa. These napkin rings, aren't those fun? Again, no maker's marks on these as well. I love them. And then there's just one little single Mrs. Claus. She's missing her man, but she's also a napkin ring, but there she is. She would almost look cute too, because her napkin ring is just about to fall off, but she's got this little plastic cone on the inside, so she'd almost look cute as a tree topper if you had a little miniature tree. So there is her. So that whole bag was $1.59 with 65% off. So that was fun to find. Okay, the next thing I got was this little fun little doorknob holder. It was 75 cents. I already have one of these, so I might give this one to a friend of mine, but fun, fun, fun. Little things I want to say. Ooh. Okay, and then these were in my Instagram story too. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you do because I post a lot of things on Instagram. And I found these at the thrift store. They are, they were $1.99 each. They were 50% off. They are these candle holders. Now I have not, and there's the candles go in their heads. I haven't researched these. I don't know if these were a home painted piece, they were painted very, very well. I mean, look, there's jewels on her collar and just the drip paint on the gold trim. Now they are marked TB on the bottom. So I don't know if that's a maker's mark or if that was the person that painted them. But if they did, they did a darn good job. Look at the rhinestones on there. So I want to say that these were not a home painted piece. One of my followers on Instagram said that they, in her family, there was a, a set of three of them. So they're missing their little friend. But I, I love these. So I need to do some research on these. I'm probably going to keep these to much to my husband's dismay because he doesn't like them. But I just, I love them. They were too good to pass up for a dollar. They were a dollar piece. Then I also got this whole box full of vintage nativity pieces. I pay, I did pay $14 for the entire box. There are, I wanna say there were 20 pieces in here, but they're all there. But you know, like here's the little bowl and we have Mary and one of maybe a wise man. I don't know if he's a wise man or not. This is definitely a wise man. Wise man and Joseph with his staff. And we've got some sheep. And they are all marked Japan on the bottom. Oops. I just dropped Joseph's staff. Hand painted Japan. It says hand painted Japan and there is a C on there. So I'll have to do a little bit more research. And we also have Jesus in his little manger. Now, this he is marked Italy. So I am not sure that this is the correct Jesus because all of the other pieces are kind of that chalkware. So he might be Fontanini, and if he is, that's great, because I know that they're, I have just sold a Fontanini Jesus for about $20.
but he is marked Italy. You can't really tell because of the sticker. And then this one, I thought the angel was very pretty. And she actually has a little hanger on her. The back of her is flat. She has a hanger on her so she could be hung above the nativity scene. But I loved her. I think probably I liked her so much because of the aqua collar there. Because I like that collar contrast together with the gold. And I also got one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Now, um, I really didn't know what, this, what these were. I mean, I'm a child of the 80s and early 90s kind of a teenager in the 90s but um if you follow rally roots which i do and i suggest that you do if you don't already but he is a huge collector of these guys and i that's the only way that the reason why, why i really even knew what these were but they are street sharks um and they are birthday party invitations and i have six sets new old stock in the package now I did look these up and there were only there was only one listed and only one sold for $9.99. And I paid 59 cents a piece for these. So um I haven't decided if I'm going to just list them singly or if I'm gonna list them as a lot. So I have to figure that out. But pretty cool for these to find these. Because I I don't ever see Street Fighter stuff anymore, do you? And someone out there is really going to like these and bring back some memories. Okay. I also picked up, this was at the thrift store. I think I paid a quarter for this. And it is Kenny Rogers Christmas. And the record's in great shape. So I'll just put that with the rest of my records that I play at Christmas time. I do like to play records. Then I also picked up, this was... 50 cents these little santa candles now they're missing i like the packaging on these because i do like packaging they're missing their little holders they're supposed to have these little red plastic holders that they sit in but i still like them anyway so there's just four of them in there there was supposed to have been six but there's just four left but honestly i just kind of like the packaging so they were 50 cents, 65% off. Let's see what they were made. And they were Chadwick Miller. 1975. That's the year I was born. Made in Taiwan. Then I also picked up some Christmas ornaments. And I have this one on my tree, actually. These were, I want to say that the, the ornaments were 25 cents a piece. So we have this little, now this one isn't Hallmark, but it is a Crayola ornament with a little bear on it from the 80s. We ha I had this as a child and I still have it on my tree. It's Binary and Smith, but it is a licensed Crayola. And I honestly thought it was Hallmark, but it's not. This I know is Hallmark. These are... They're kind of a wood grain Christmas ornament, and I really like these. Oh yeah, it is 1977. It's just a little jack-o'-lantern, or jack-o'-lantern, jack-in-the-box, but it looks like it's wood grain. Do you see how it looks? And I can't remember what the, the name of this line is, but they're very old-fashioned looking. I know that the Santa Claus one can, make, can bring pretty big money, but I mean, pretty big money, like $20 big money. But got him, and this as well is Hallmark, and it is dated 1995, just a little um, sister ornament. And again, if I can buy these cheap enough, I do buy them, and I do sell them for about 9 to $10 a piece. And then this is Hallmark as well. I He was $0.79, cents, but he was 65% off. I just thought he was neat. He is Santa, and he's got a little rocket here. And I like Santa Clauses, so I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep him or sell him. I need to get my loop out to see. I want to say that he's Hallmark, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to get the loop out because sometimes it's hard to see where they're labeled or they're marked at. But he does, you know, he can be displayed pretty nicely. So I liked him. 
And then my father-in-law found this as well and showed my husband. Said, you need to get that. It was 99 cents, but it was, I want to say 50% off. Just a little flop Santa. Look at his face. This little bag of toys. This is not old. And I have one of these already. But I like this. I just... I just like it, so I got it. It was a quarter. It's made in China. It's not old, but it's cute. So it could go in a little display. And I have one actually displayed in my house, but I just thought he was cute. And then I picked up a lot of these. Um, they were also a quarter a piece. Actually, these were 10 cents a piece, these little ones. These were all the 10 cent a piece ones. But these I will use to make an assemblage of some sort. So I got that one and this little big headed snowman and a little big headed soldier and this little guy here and a little one armed one armed Santa he's missing his arm and the little snowman and then he was a quarter I just thought he was cute. This little brush tree made from wood. They were all made from wood. And then I got this magnet and I love this. This little sequined magnet Christmas tree. Just a homemade thing out of felt. I love those sequins and stuff and the little gold rope on it. So I picked up these. Now these are, I've sold these before. It's the only reason why I knew what these were these are made by department 56 they are christmas tree clips and you can they're made from bisque and you can clip them on your tree and then stick the light in there and they illuminate and i've never seen the bunnies before but i got five bunnies and i couldn't find the comps for the bunnies but i got i got 10 of the little birds um they were a quarter a piece um, so I've sold these before, so I know that I can sell them again. And I sold a set of two that were in the package. So they weren't new, but they still were in the package. And I sold them for about $30. So buying a, a 10 of these, um, I looked up comps and they were selling for like $130 in the package. Okay. So these are not in their original package, but paying a quarter of a piece for these and I lot them together that I know I can you know make a profit on those so look for these little bisque department 656 birds and they do they do really well they're not marked anywhere they're not marked department 56 anywhere on them but I know that's what they are because that's what I've, I've sold them before so and there was one that I left behind because the clip was broken on it so I didn't get that one but I did get the rest so I've got you know, all kinds of bisque birds. And I will list those now. I'm not gonna wait until Christmas is over. This is probably, other than the little, the little caroling girls, this was probably my favorite thing that I found uh, the whole day. And, and then it's this, and I love this. He is a, he was $4. He was 65% off, which was amazing. He is just, he was made, painted by Elise. She did a good job, but I, love him he's like a big pitcher but i'll put some greenery in him and he will be a great centerpiece on the table this little candy cane handle i love him so that is something that i'm definitely going to be keeping so that is my flea market haul and i hope that you enjoyed it so it was a really fun day and i always always recommend going out right after christmas before people start putting their Christmas things away at the flea markets, at the antique malls, at the antique shops, and buying the things that are on sale because they are marked down. So don't leave out sourcing at the antique malls and antique stores and flea markets because there are deals to be had. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope that you give it a thumbs up and please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you